And, uh, you know, I think I might have expanded on the Hugh Jackman situation by saying, okay, here's a guy, um, you know, listen, I'll admit it, like Dan said with Chris Bryant, but I'll set it up. I won't say it out of the blue, out of nowhere. You know, Hugh Jackman, obviously a movie star. Great bone structure. You know, he didn't, he didn't get where he is looking like me. Put it that way. He's a good-looking actor. Movie star status. Mike Boschetti just agreed with you on that. Mike uh, Boschetti, do you agree with the fact that you, Jackman, is in fact, ha- he has classic good looks? I'm, I'm sure he is, actually. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the way, here's another Dan Filato setup. This Dan Filato waste of time brought to you by Budweiser. So Dan, I'm bringing up the Jackman thing. I say he's good looking. Then Mike, for some reason, Mike did something that made Dan go, okay, Mike thinks so He bobbed so his too. head up and down. He bobbed his head up and down. Okay, Jesus. I See? He just did it again. Like he's going to blow you, Jackman? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, Mike? Why are you giving Dan false fucking uh, leads? Uh, well, we got an hour to kill. Mike's going to walk over to the fucking <laughs> I thought you jacked Put the fuck Wait till the mic goes on What business are you in dude And the pizza's here too By the way No I thought that he was uh, In one of my favorite Current movies Well a couple of years ago I thought he was in Captain America That's what Is he, he I, I thought he was so. Captain America himself uh, Is he Captain America himself he, he might be Captain America I love that movie Because Why do you like that movie Mike Because I thought Like at the end of the movie He's going to get that That woman in the nurse And she, he's like 86 years old I never that. saw it Oh, fuck. I never saw the movie. This is Hugh Jackman. Oh, okay. What is he? He's, the, isn't, he's another superhero, right? He's the fucking X-Men guy. Yeah, he's yeah. a Wolverine. Wolverine. I was, okay, Evan said that. I thought it's that called was, a franchise, Mike. Look into it. Yeah, but Captain America is a great movie. I Captain America. <laughs> Mike, honestly. Can you I'm imagine how much money you would have made off a of Tubby Man <laughs> if you would actually follow through? <laughs> Mike, let me tell you something. Can I just say something? You, you grew up with, you loved De Niro, right? Yeah. And all that shit, and... Uh, can you just see why someone like me shakes his head in disgust when you say you love the movie Captain America? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compared to, like, what, the De Niro? What's your favorite De Niro movie from the 70s, like, you know, 80s, you know, the Raging oh, Bull era? Okay. Is it Raging Bull? Is it, in fact, Goodfellas? Is it no, I love Taxi him. Driver? What I loved him in The Godfather Part 2. He was awesome. Okay. An unbelievable performance. And I'll point out a reason why it's unbelievable on a level people don't bring up that much. Basically, he went, first of all, he wins Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, not Actor, Best Supporting Actor. Uh, basically, De Niro gives a tour de force performance in a classic American movie, and I think he says two words in English the entire time. He speaks fucking Italian with a Sicilian dialect the entire fucking movie. He says a couple of words, and he says, uh, you know, I, 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 I make them off for you, no refuse. Stuff like that shit. You understand? Yeah, but was, and so you're right. Godfather Part Two, an amazing performance. The, now, what, Mike? There was one other actor in it that was awesome, and he mm-hmm. was very underrated, and I love him. He, he passed away too young. Bruno Kirby was great in that Bruno movie. Bruno Kirby, absolutely great performance. Underrated. Well, he's been in a lot of things that he's good in. You know, I, Spinal he, Tap. Spi- you know what? I'll tell you what, who does he play in uh, Godfather 2? Oh, young Clemenza. He plays a young Clemenza. That's right. Hey, you know, you hold the guns of a... We pay him. He wants the money, we pay him. Yeah, okay, so I agree with you. So how does a guy who loves a movie like that also gush, not just say I like it, gush over a piece of fucking... F- film canister turd shit like Captain America how, how do you gush over that well it was a good time period and I love the good time, time period. period he was killing the Nazis first of all what are you talking about Mike he Captain was, America was killing the yeah, Nazis he was fighting them I didn't know that yes and so, also mm-hmm. he also mm-hmm. had a really beautiful nurse that, that, was, that loved him you're basing that on uh, uh, that on the <laughs> <making> <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. Because I know you do a hot nurse. I get it. Whatever the no, fuck. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. But then, well, and, and he was oblivious to it, right? Oblivious to what? To her in the beginning. He liked his bimbo, but this other girl really liked him, right? And the thing is, like, oh at the end of the movie, I was like, he's going to get her. Yeah. Right, but he, Did you say that out loud in the theater? Yeah, I screamed it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's the revert. You know what? That's uh, When black people do it, it sounds cool. When you yell something out like that, people might take you away in the white coat with them. No, no, but I'm like, he's going to get it. And then I'm like, fuck. He's like, he's going to get it. I'm like, and he's like, 
He's like 86 years old. She's probably dead. <laughs> do you get a Man. discounted card at the movie? Oh, God, yeah. Right. <laughs> when you go to the movie, do you wear a band lawn shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. So, in, in compared to The Godfather 2, where do you put Captain America? As far as the ranks? Well... Like, uh, you can't really compare the two. I mean, one's American. That's my fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a weird taste in movies. I love The Patriot with Mel Gibson. I thought that was awesome. You can sit down, Mike. What do you call it? Uh, Braveheart yeah. and Glorious well, well, Bastards. Okay, okay well, great. for Braveheart, we, so wait, there, there's a theme going here with Mel Gibson shit. You like Mel Gibson? No, but I, I didn't. Who's Captain America? Did we make? He's not. It's not you, Jack. No, I thought it might. Chris been. Evans. I don't. I, oh, oh wait. Is that, is that him? Chris Evans from BG and the Bear. Oh no, that's not. That's BG and ago. the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, honestly, <laughs> you're fucking batshit crazy, dude. Stacy Pressman is eating pizza. First of all, I thought we discussed this. You weren't gonna. Get, everyone's coming over. I guess that's fine. Oh, I okay. want. No, no, no. That's it. He, no, I, I wanted to make sure you were comfortable. So Stacy ordered pizza. Now she's coming over to give her opinion. Go ahead, Bob. There's very anti-Semitic. What is that? That Mike likes all the Mel Gibson movies. Yeah, well, here you go. What about that, Mike? Whoa, good point, Stace. Well, I excellent point. She fucking caught you, Mangala. Two lips. No, but I like. She what? caught you, Eichmann. I you know, she know what she's referring to? The fact oh. that you always say you're not anti-Semitic on the show when you f said Jew lips that one time. Well, Barry Sobel go to me and yeah, no, 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 no. Let me tell you something, Barry Sobel. I felt for him. He was next to someone who was clearly his enemy, <laughs> and I, I, I was so disappointed in you. No, but and you're clear racist anti. And you know what? At the Artie Lang show, you check that at the door, pal. No, but the thing. And this podcast, same rules. You check your anti-Semitism at the door. I don't have any. Right, because it's checked at the door. <laughs> but say you, you okay. But Stacy brings out oh, what a great point. I'm so happy she's here. What she said was, basically, you deny all this anti-Semitism shit, okay. and then you suddenly go every fucking movie you like <laughs> has the, an anti-Semite, a famous anti-Semite, Mel Gibson. He went on rants. I like the themes of the movie, not him. The themes. I just like the American <laughs> Revolution. The themes. I'd like to the the, the, the the picture, not him. Uh, but Stacy pointed it out, and she's so right. She's so right. This guy is an anti tell <laughs> You <laughs> love his fucking movies. <laughs> you know Mel Gibson's that. father. True story. Mel Gibson's father it was an Adolf answer. Gibson. Eight <laughs> Jews. <laughs> Basically, he did real fucking interview, dude. You could look it up. No, he's an on YouTube. <laughs> I'll stop it right there. We don't want to get fucking sorry. Started. No, listen to me. He, but he did say this in an interview. I believe I'm almost positive. I, I, I heard this from um, Steve Grillo. Uh, <laughs> this is what he said. He said, uh, you know, and I, we played this clip on the Stern Show. There's audio of it. He said, there's not six million that were killed. That's wrong. They lie about that. There was only two million. No. Now, first of all, listen to me. Say in some crazy world you believe that and it's right. What are we supposed to do? Go, two million? What, <laughs> what are we uptight about? No, like I'm just, I mean, get over it, guys. Two million. Uh, first of all, okay. Second of all, he's bullshitting. It's it is six million. It is. But then here's what they go. Where'd the other six million, four million go? Because six million disappeared. It goes. This was his answer. He goes. They moved to the Bronx. <laughs> he really fucking said they moved to the Bronx. He said that. Then then he shoots that fucking anti-Semitic sperm into some fucking Ava Braun broad. She has Mel fucking Gibson in Australia, which is notorious. For hating anyone of a non-dominant culture. Well, it's Swiss with douchebags. Uh, with what, 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 what does that even mean? What are you talking about? You, do you know? Understand? Yes, I do. Do you understand the structure of a conversation? No, but they hit. You just threw in the Swiss. I'm talking Australia. No, but the same kind of shit. I get it. Good. Thank you. But I'm the saying, Swiss are neutral. No, they, they take in anybody. They hit a lot of Nazi gold. Those okay, well, that's, that's what I'm World fucking World saying, dude. It's like Argentina took all those guys in. That's where they found Eichmann. Yep. Okay, but listen. Australia, all that bullshit. Mel Gibson comes over here with all that anti-Semitic fucking angst. He makes it. He fools everybody, including the Jews that fucking produced his movies, made him rich, like uh, like Lethal Weapon. I think Joel Goldberg, famous, you know, he made he made all his money with them, and then he fucking hits him. When he gets a trillion dollars, the real guy comes out. He needs money for passion of the fucking Christ. Well, he he he, he gets into an argument. Like, he gets into a fucking on the Pacific Coast Highway. He gets into an accident. As soon as a cop comes up, he just goes, "Are you a Jew, cop?" And the guy was a Jewish cop. He picked them out. Only a Nazi could do that, and he yells it out.
There's no. not many of those either. <laughs> of in course, LA. the guy had his radar, his Judar up. You Judar. know what he was wearing? Probably a Semitic alert bracelet, which I, I <laughs> fucking invented. Remember that? When a Jew is within five feet of you, it goes off. I developed this Semitic alert bracelet. So you like The Godfather, Captain America, Gentleman's Agreement, your third favorite movie? Exactly. Oh. Patriot. Uh, Full Metal Jacket. Year of show. Living Dangerously. Okay. <laughs> So, so you then all of a sudden we ask here, cut to now, and you fooled us again like a lot of the Nazis do. <laughs> like Lawrence Olivier in Marathon Man, he fooled everybody. He fooled everybody. He's back. He's charming. No one knows where he is. And then he gets found out by Dustin Hoffman. He's walking down 47th Street in the Diamond District, and he slices an old Jewish man who recognizes him. He, like, you, like, like him, you fooled us with your charm. And then Stacy doesn't let it go by, though. We're asking about favorite films, and all of a sudden, yeah. yeah all of a sudden, but, three in a row, Gibson, no. Gibson, Gibson. <laughs> I have a and Stacy goes, bullshit. No. Uh, you're, you're, everyone's a Mel Gibson movie, and you're subtly giving a message probably to some Nazi cell Ooh. that is listening to the podcast to fucking get out to the ghettos. Do you have the Passion the of ghettos? Christ on no, Blu-ray? No, but I, I have a are rebuttal you, for Are this. the ghettos being liquidated right now? <laughs> I have a rebuttal for this. Are there okay. Jewish ghettos being liquidated right now? If you could spell rebuttal, Mike, I'll give you $10,000. <laughs> R-E-B-U-T-T-A-L. Uh-oh. Uh, no. L. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, re. R-E-B-U-T-T-A-L. <laughs> Insanely wrong. No, but I have a rebuttal for this. <laughs> spell rebuttal, Mike. I'm not listening to your rebuttal until you spell it. If somebody fucking helps them, they're never welcome back here. Re. R-E. But. B-U-T. Wait a second. Give me a pen. I need a fucking pen. I want to write down all these entries. By the way, dude, thank you so much. A Jew helped me. <laughs> oh, stop that with that. Evan Weiss helped me. And you just let him. You didn't care if he pulled a muscle. <laughs> I'm moving his arm. All right. Your first guess, Mike was rebuttal and I said that was for the 10 grand rebuttal R-E-B oh you had me worried there a little bit R-E-B-U-T-T-A-L wrong okay wrong your second one no, uh, this no. was his second guess by the way <laughs> R-E-B-U-T-T-A-L <laughs> L-L oh, oh that's what I was saying it was the same one no the second one had two L's <laughs> okay way wrong okay re R-E I didn't ask you to spell re. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third guess for no money. Okay, R-E. For a slice of pizza. B-U-T-T-A-L. Oh, wait, I said that You said that already, Mike. Okay, re. Hold on, R-E. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait, what? Right, that's how you spell rebuttal. It's R-E-B-U-T-T-A-L. It's not A-L. It's two, it's one it's 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 L it's R-E-B. So I thought R-E-B-U-T-T-L-E. No, it's not L-E. No, it's A-L. A-L. It's E-L or A-L. Guys. All right. Yeah, I'm Dan. I got it. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Already 10 grand in debt now. <laughs> I, I, I was a joke. Oh. Is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be funny, but forget it. Let's move on. See, Dan? No, because he thought he actually spelled it right, wrong. <laughs> no, because you know what? Dan's going to get five grand to this. <laughs> no, no, okay, whatever. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I should have rehearsed with Dan before. <laughs> Dan gets five grand this. We've got to make... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the five grand in uh, exercise training. Okay. Like, All right, right. Again, the, I no, was trying to make... It, it was funny that you believed that you spelled it wrong when you spelled it right, and then we were going to see how long that would go and maybe have some fun. Yeah. All right, so the fun is over. Okay. I have um, but no, anyway, Al Gibson, uh, you know, Stacy points out that you are still anti-Semitic. My point is it's very subtle, Mike, but you in fact are no an anti-Semite and no. Stacy your best friend agrees with it and somehow is big enough to overlook it no there's one movie that rebuttalizes me with this okay. <laughs> how big would Boschetti's list be a movie Schindler's List Whoa. <laughs> that's your favorite movie when they go to the no. gas chambers and my favorite have you movie seen Schindler's List no. you jerk off and they go into the gas have you seen Schindler's List Mike no I, I can't watch it you that know what you like to do you know what you should do is you should watch it from uh, the beginning of the end and to the beginning so it has a happy ending but he saved a lot of people's lives she did yeah that's the point of the fucking movie <laughs> don't be an apologist no no but this what, let me give him my rebuttal movie I'll and I'll tell you why okay Mike what is your and rebuttal movie this is a great movie? movie and it was shot in the 40s you know shot recent but the 40s <laughs> Inglorious Bastards 
shot recent. What are you talking about? Yeah, explain what you just fucking said. Inglorious Bastards. I know. Tarantino. You said it was shot recently, but in the 40s. No, it, made it, it was supposed to be in the 40s. <laughs> but it shot maybe Yeah, that happens years a ago. lot. People do that. Yeah, okay. It's called a period piece. <laughs> I love them because... If that Honestly, group existed, it wasn't really historical. That's what he said. <laughs> Mike, let me tell you, put, put Evans' mic on. No, but it the wasn't thing a documentary. By the way, I'm the first. To... I'm, no, I am no, the, no. I'm the first person in show business to say put Evans' mic. On. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait That's a minute. That's so true. I do yeah, appreciate well, listen, that. Uh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, but if my point... My my, point Mike, so do you Mike, realize when you I'm say... Just learning, this wasn't a documentary? No, my do you point realize, is, Mike, when you say, I'm going to explain why I like this movie, you can hear subscribers canceling? No, my, <laughs> my point is... Well, the Jewish subscribers... What's your point, Mike? <laughs> okay. Those guys were badasses in the movie that those guys portrayed, right? They were scalping Nazis. Who like was? Those, uh, Eli, Eli Roth, Roth like, Brad like Pitt. Ten different guys were like, like, like who were the guys? Grades. Who were the guys? Eli Roth, Brad Pitt. Uh, was God. Brian Austin Green in it? No, no. But the thing is, Ian Ziering. If <laughs> Steve got the thing is, those guys existed during World War II. Those, those those guys, the okay. glorious guys. Oh, they did. No, if they did, I'm just saying. Oh, if right? they did, if yeah. They did. Keep fucking going. No, Go ahead. Listen, World War II would have been over in a few weeks. Okay, Mike, but they didn't, and your point is retarded. <laughs> no, it's not. I love those Mike, guys. they didn't exist. I if Captain America existed, what would have fucking happened? <laughs> no, but it was awesome. I, I, I like when that fucking idiot got his... You know Captain America... What idiot? What, what are you real? fucking talking about? That idiot got a fucking... It's his uh, uh, Swatsika cob in his skull. Mike, let me tell you something. I love that. It wasn't real. It was a movie. Let me tell you No, something. but I mean... If all the actors who portrayed those people, Eli Ross... And yeah, all he's awesome. If all of them were the only people who died in 9-11, I would have been against going into Afghanistan. <laughs> oh. That's right, because I don't like any of them. No, but they were awesome. You're swinging a baseball bat at that douche. What is I your fucking it. point with, the, like, why do you like that so much? If they existed, they, they, they didn't exist, so just move on, man. And you, that doesn't that what well, you're still an anti Semite. Well, they, no, they killed Hitler in the movie. You are overcompensating. You know no, how a gay guy. You know how a guy who's secretly gay when he sees a hot chick is over like, oh my god, she's hot, she's hot, she's hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know that's what you're doing right now. You're going, okay, I love those guys. Beat up the fucking Nazis to prove you, to yourself, no, really. Not to, to prove to yourself that your you, your favorite book isn't Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> what does Mein Kampf stand for? I don't know. You know who wrote it? Adolf Hitler. Wrote okay, it. and what does Mein Kampf in German? It's in German. What in American? What does that say? I, have, I don't know what he's talking about. I have no idea. Kill, kill the Jews. <laughs> Evan told me that. Is that, that was Stop your listening guess? to everybody. You yeah. think uh, you think that was? Uh, <laughs> That's what Evan told me. We, I have no we idea. discussed this. Stop listening to everybody. <laughs> Who's your least favorite Jew? <laughs> Evan Weiss. Okay. Evan Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean a guy, a, 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 a less popular Jew. <laughs> No, a, a famous person. No, I don't have any hostility. No, you can't. I can tell you mine. <laughs> not have any, because it's not the fact that they're Jewish. That's the point. It's the fact that I hate them for some other reason. It's individual. So just say, who, just, we'll put it this way. Who's the person you hate the most who happens to be Jewish? I don't know. There's nobody on the list. You don't hate anybody who's Jewish? I don't hate a lot of people. You, okay, give me an anti-Semite. Give me a, a, a regular person, a normal person. Bill Maher's a douchebag. Bill, first of all, you, you accepted when I said instead of Jewish, normal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Maher is half Jewish. Is he? No. Wait, yeah. he's, he's, he's Irish? half Jewish, Jewish, you fuck. Wait, I thought he was Irish. Ma sounds Irish. Yeah, right. Okay. Guess what mommy was. Oh, Jewish. Okay. Get fucking douchebag. Well, if, uh, we don't have any anti-Semites in my family at all. How do you know? <laughs> you're, you're in your family. I have anti-Semites in my family. We're Jews. <laughs> there are a lot of self-loathing Jews. That's all of them. <laughs> well, a lot of them are. A lot of Italians, too. Yeah, but Hate Jews. My, my favorite Jewish person, one of a couple. Who is that? Uh, God, of course. <laughs> Mike, you know, honestly, <laughs> we're, friend, we're friends and everything. Jesus but Christ was a Jew. We're we're friends friends and, I know he was, Mike, but we're friends and stuff. But, you know, I'm finding it hard to, to, to not uh, throw something at you. Well, this is my list of fav my fa favorite Jewish people. Say it! Okay. This is Chevy's okay. list. Yes. Write it down. Okay, no. I Let me write it down if she's right, please. Because here's what's happening. Stacey Pressman, like I did as a brilliant investigative reporter years ago, pointed out you're anti-Semitic. Okay? No, no. This is my uh, I, 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 I showed the world that. And everyone agreed. And I'll explain why to my favorite people. Oh, okay, calm down. Okay. 
and and I, I explained why also back then, as you're going to explain why now, that, that uh, every time you tried to rebut it, you were uh, grasping at straws. It was no. clear the Jewish people, in your mind, wronged you in some way? No. Maybe stole your money. Maybe no. controlled your money. No, to help me Maybe with Maybe there was stuff. a Jewish woman that uh, rejected your advances romantically. No. Okay. But you, for some reason, had a special disdain for the Jewish people. I have no and, 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 and guess who picked it up? Barry Sobel. Very, no, Jewish. He, I, Very Jewish person. Barry Sobel, we were doing a, a thing on, on Audie's TV show, Direct TV, right? Right. And I was supposed to be, I, I decided to throw a sudden action in, right? And I go, get some so Listen, oh, is talking like fucking Meryl Streep, Meryl Creep over here. You, did, what, you started to th- decided to throw a fucking accident. What, what, how do you well, say yeah, okay, Mr. Yeah, Boschetti. Go ahead. If we were in a courtroom <laughs> and I were to say, would your love of Stacy Pressman and her rejections why? I never reject. I'm so giving to. Wait, wait, wait. That, that was Dan trying to do something. God, please. There's no rejections. The, we're, we're derailing. We're derailing. I wanted right, to hear this. Right, okay, let's go. There's no okay, rejection. here's your it's southern not, accent. Go ahead. We have no rejection. You here's your southern fucking accent, Mike. Continue. Go to the, hey, Barry, have some mint juleps. <laughs> I, I meant julep. Okay. You know, that I word. know, but you said Jew lips. Yeah, by mistake. First of all, I was down south. Can I just tell you, I was just in Kentucky. Not one person had a southern accent, except the, no Kentucky, one. No. Kentucky's very north. Uh, no, no, but it was very southern, and people were actually very educated, and I was surprised. What does that mean? <laughs> out of college. Some of the no, smartest you're people. Really right, though. No, but you're there, you know how Some people, of the smartest people in the world are from the south. No, but I'm <laughs> saying, meaning Writers that and I was in a, in a small town. And I would think but I, you said you were surprised that people were educated in the no, South. No, no, I was surprised they, they didn't have teeth? accents. Okay. No, but she thought she's right because it's like you think they'd be like, hey there, how are you, son? No, we don't. <laughs> no, and I, and I Mike, actually love it down there. That's what I thought. You, you in fact. And Mike, there are a lot of Jews in Kentucky. Your Southern like, accent, your Southern accent, like, you, so in other words, you you think it's a, it's a good accent. No, I didn't say it was That's good. like Appalachian. Do it again. Well, you said I'll throw, I threw it in Appalachian. Appalachian. Oh, like I would like to uh, the people that like have five fingers and still think we're fighting a civil war. Five fingers. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, five. Stop thumbs. it! Stop it! <laughs> okay, you the, the Jew lips thing uh, to me was not even a subliminal thing. It was you decided to do that accident. That yeah, you're not really it just that happened thing. an accident. I, I, but you guys punished me the next night. No, no, no. Punished you. You chose yeah. to do it well, because I did. you got a chance to say. You know what they made Jew me do the next night? I had it. No, What'd I had it as a reprimand. I had a box of a box of matzo, right? But oh. listen to this, right? But name every Jewish person with really hard Jewish names while eating the matzah. Right. I mean, it was really funny, but disconcerting. <laughs> By the end, there were all those all matzo crumbs all over and the And you wonder why you were really fat? No, well, no. Was, we made them do it. Oh, okay. uh, but, no, but, no. You're like a fraternity. <laughs> Well, no, be, him, yeah, because we were trying to be funny. You should have made them work out instead. No, no, that was impossible at that time. Why? Working out, touching my shoes. Well, you got you worked out and got better. Yeah, but well, now the, you're gonna be a trainer. I want to be. So, Mike, you you the the, the southern accent uh, and, and the and the, the sit ups and everything that that went away in your life. It tells uh, us the people. No, but uh, I want to finish my list. Of people, go, go right now. Okay. okay. Who's who's the first guy on your list? The Dice Man, Andrew Silverstein. Because mm-hmm. it's like he was cool. I loved him. He was. He, and he came on the show and like and became a friend of me because of you. You know Nobody what I mean? Nobody gives a shit. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Henry Winkler. Wait, number is that ten or one? <laughs> that's he's number one. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Is he wait. going from one? Uh, that's, that's oh no, no, suspension. No, douche. okay, okay. Jesus Christ is number one. He's the boss. Okay, wait a minute. He's Jewish <laughs> and Catholic. I understand. <laughs> and Catholic. Oh wait a minute. So are we is. talking <laughs> about people who were both? No, he he. He, he was Jewish, but he could, people, this is the bottom line, I think. Mm-hmm, right? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, he came here to bring peace among people. First. Oh! <laughs> right? Uh, Jesus Dice Man. No, no. People, oh! people had thought that. Here's you know, my top ten commandments. People had thought. Oh! People, thou shalt not kill. Okay. Jewish people who thought he was him became Christians. Jewish people who didn't believe it was him were Jewish people. That's the bottom line. This is probably the most mundane, boring segment <laughs> in the history of fuck since Guglielmo no, Marconi no, they, invented fucking radio. They also thought he was like a, a not a god, somebody a rabbi. How do you like, fucking know? I How do you talk know? To My cousins. Like, but I was he there. What do you mean <laughs> talking? Your cousins. Ten Island. I said, "How do you know? You were my cousin." No, I also asked people too. Who? 
Who? Who the fuck was there? It's two thousand years ago. No, but I'm saying no, <laughs> not not from two thousand years ago. Friends, like my friend Gary Greenberg. Well, what about him? What does he know about it? He said he go. He said you know we we thought that you know that uh, I'm in the Twilight Zone. He said he we thought that like Jesus was like maybe like a religious rabbi guy. Wouldn't think he was God. What the fuck does <laughs> Gary Greenberg know? What does he do? <laughs> I don't know. Gary Greenberg is a writer. He's a really good guy. Writer. Yes, so you got to no one knows. We know it was over there. No, we don't no. know what really happened. We don't know what we happened. We just make up stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know, he doesn't say that till Stacy says it. No, but I've been telling you fucking. And he goes, she goes. We don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me. Sh- my neck. Can I continue my list? No, well, you're really like off to a shitty start. Okay. Wait a minute. So your first favorite Jew? Is Andrew Dice Clay. No, no God. Is, no, wait, 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 one second. I think you went with. Jesus. Who's number ten, Mike? I need ten. Do you understand okay. the concept of a build up? Yes. Okay, 10. Does Letterman do number one first? No. No. So give me 10. Adam Sandler. He's 10? <laughs> no, he's, he's probably two. So what the fuck am I <laughs> No, three. Make him three. Jesus <laughs> Christ is one. <laughs> the Dice Man's number two. Are we going to go from one then, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll start from one. We have to go from one because it's not going to work anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, your first favorite Jew is, 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 is Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus. Who yes. you say is half Jew, and then your cousin Gary uh, <laughs> knows that he was, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Now, does your friend Gary know uh, 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 Sandler? <laughs> no. Okay. So he got to know Jesus, but he couldn't get to Sandler. No, he couldn't get to him. <laughs> it's tougher? Probably. Does uh, Sandler has better security? Okay, number one favorite Jew. Wait, I'm going to write this down. I'll only mark this down. Mike Vichetti's top ten Mike favorite Vichetti's Jews. Mike Vichetti's favorite Jews. <laughs> Just having a list in your house like this alone <laughs> proves that you're probably anti semitic <laughs> It could also mean like a code where like these are the Jews you want to first liquidate. <laughs> no, no. Mike Boschetti's favorite Jews. My, the, the, the Jews that sit in the oven is a bit. <laughs> these are the Jews that we tell, no, that's not gas. It's water, as Adam Sandler. <laughs> Mike Bichette. You remember when you made the water boy? <laughs> hey, did you make the gas boy? No. Oh, God. The wedding singer? We saw the wedding singer, and guess what? We're putting you in the oven. Okay, number one. JC. Hang on, the f- I got a good relationship you with him. I call him JC. JC. Yeah, I talk to him a lot. I go, hey, JC, Mike, what's going on? He has buddy? let you down in so many ways. <laughs> okay, really? Mike, no. you could say everywhere. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Uh, name one way he didn't let you down. <laughs> He let, he let me uh, be your wife. Okay. Well, you, a lot of people would, at a glance, look at you and go, that's a, <laughs> not a great thing. Right, well, I'm not happy. Not us. I'm not happy. Not I'm at this alive. table. No, I, I would say that because I, could, <laughs> because I say the same thing about myself. I am not happy I'm alive. I think it's a cruel joke that someone let me be born like this. I am miserable. Miserable. And you could fuck. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm okay. happy that you are at least able to deny but uh, you know and you could fucking play your little games Mr. Corleone but I am miserable okay you can change I, that I, no I can't change it it's your thought process I, you I, can no, change I can't, it I can't change it I wish that I look like you know people try, I try to say look I'm a comedian uh, I try to be intellectual whatever the fuck you want to call it I, you know I wish though the most shallow of things I wish I looked like Mark Paul Gosselier who's that I don't know the guy who weighs <laughs> Ryan Gosling no, not him. Mark Paul Gosselier. Him? Dawson's Creek, a Dawson's Creek guy. Well, at least you don't look like Mike. Right? Well, no, but that's a big positive. No, but, but I, still, I, <laughs> no, wait, wait, who's Mark Paul Gosselier? But Dawson's Creek, right? Oh, well, that guy? You want to look like him? Who's Dawson's Creek? It was a TV show. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. Who the fuck's the lead of it? Oh, uh, James Van Vanderbeek. Van oh, yeah, Van I want to look like James him? Vanderbeek. If I, if I look like James Vanderbeek, I'd believe in God. Okay, but, but I, I don't. So I, I don't believe in him. Well, I want. I told Station with him who I wanted to look like. He thought it was ridiculous. Who? I wanted to look like Joe Pesci. But he's the ugliest man ever. <laughs> Besides you. No, but not not talent. No, look like him because nobody nobody pick on him. He's four foot eleven. Nobody <laughs> pick on him. He's like this short little guy. First of all, Mike, this is a whole other sidetrack, awful conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the Jew list, okay? okay. Jew list. All right. Well, number one, your Mike Pachetti's favorite Jews. That's what the title is. Mike Pachetti's favorite Jews. Okay. Now. Number one is, as you say, JC. I'm not going to give him the fucking disservice. Of okay. I'm going to spell out Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two 
and, a, and what a lot of people are going to call a big drop off. <laughs> Andrew Dice Silverstein. Andrew Silverstein. Andrew Clay. Who Silverstein. is Andrew Clay? Absolutely. I'm going to put Andrew Silverstein. And what a lot of people are going to call <laughs> a big drop off. Andrew Dice. Now explain why. Because he, I why love his he come after Jesus Christ? <laughs> you know. Moses could tell a good joke. No, he was yeah. Jewish. How about this? Moses Malone is a better joke. <laughs> it's Andrew like, Clay and what about, Jesus I mean, Christ. like again, I'll, I'll let you explain, but then I, I, okay. I want to have my rebuttal. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Then we'll let Dan. I spell just it. loved him as a comedian, and he was cool when okay. I met him. Hang on, you know? fuck on, dude. He's still alive. First of all, Andrew Dice. Clay Silverstein. Okay, a lot of people. A lot of people probably still think he's a, a, a Gindalon. No, no, he is Jewish, who seems Italian, a Brooklyn Italian. Okay, he's number two. Explain why. Go ahead. The I floor, thought he the was, floor is yours. I thought he was cool when he, in his comedy. That's it. I liked his that character. That's the whole fucking then, thing. Then I became a fan of his. But when we, he came on your show, he became a friend. I loved him talking to me. You know what I mean? It blew my mind. Do you want to hear what he said about you? Uh, he said good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I'm going to take that as you do not want me to tell you what he Okay, called. whatever he says, he says. I mean, I, I, I want to know now. Uh, no, well, listen, I mean, it, it, it's going to affect, I believe. Oh, the, yeah, I'm going to scream his name. No, now. in <laughs> other words, I think if I was honest with you about his assessment of you to me in private, let me put it the, I'll, I'll put it the nice way I can. After you heard that assessment, I doubt he'd be your second favorite Jew. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be number three. I doubt he'd be your second favorite human. Oh, okay. But I, I doubt he'd be your second. I doubt he'd be in the top billion. Wow. He had some very, very judgmental things to say about you. Well, uh, uh, you know, what and can your you do? Peer, and your parents, which to me was a low blow. Oh, uh, really? Well, I'll put it this way. If, you know... Then it's like meeting Bozo the Clown without his makeup. If you should that to me. Okay, so now you're attacking. <laughs> <laughs> you're like Donald Trump. No. He's very immature. He attacks. Can I go for number three? He's the best. He really Wait is. one second. And there's a reason why he. I love him. All right, number three. Your third favorite Jew, Mike. I'm waiting. Henry Winkler. That's a good one. Really? I'm going to write this down. I like Henry Winkler. Okay, Henry Winkler What's played... What's wrong with him? Henry, yeah. Wait, let's just soak, soak this in. Henry Winkler played Fonzie. That's right. On, because, oh, thank you. You know why? Because he, he was a hero. Hang on a, a second. That kid from Staten Island got Mike, beat up. hang the fuck on. Okay. Tubbo. Henry Winkler, who was the Fonz on Happy Days. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Because... He was a hero, fat kid from Staten Island, and a lot of Why? Other he was a fucking thug, like a no, he a stuck, street thug who goofed on fat people. <laughs> no, but he stuck up for bull. He went, he came to everybody's aid, and women loved him, and everybody wanted, guys wanted to be the Fonz. No, no, not my generation. Of Fonz. Was like, I always wanted to be. Hey, he was cool. I loved Fonz the Fonz. Was like a fucking, you know, thug. Well, he, he was a guy you were afraid of. No, but he helped his butt. You know, he, he stuck up for bullies. Did you like? He, he stuck up for bullies. Oh, no, I mean against him. <laughs> <laughs> He, he was 50 and lived above a garage. <laughs> no, he's, yeah, I, 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 he's, uh, and he know, hung out with kids. He was Evan 29 had, years old. Evan has a fucking point. No, he's Ooh. 29 years old when he got yeah, fucked. Well, I mean, 29. He said they were 18, those kids. No, they were like, how? Uh, Ron Howell was like 20 they years old. They were in high school. Young. They were in high school, they were. No, but they were older. They were a couple years old. Like no, they like, play oh, at yeah. high school, kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's talking about the Fonz. Uh, he's 29. The character the of the Fonz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He was a Yale trained actor, actor too. And he'd bring the girls back to his place above the garage. No, but he was he was a Yale trained actor as well. Henry Inglis a good you know? <laughs> Adam Sandler brought him back to life. One at a time. Talking about one at a time. <laughs> yeah, don't talk over each other. What my or who back to life? That's my fourth guy, Adam Sandler. Wait a minute, Mike. <laughs> How'd he bring football? Oh, you mean the water boy? Yeah. <laughs> I loved him because, like, I mean, he directed a lot of stuff and produced movies, but he brought the Fonz back to life, and I wanted to hug at him and tell him that someday if I meet him. Let's get him in the show. Uh, I, 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 I asked him, and he didn't want to come here. He was supposed to do the show. He watched the tape. Oh, really? Yeah, he said, is there a way Mike could call and sing? <laughs> you want to hug Adam Sandler like you did Twitchell's? Yeah, I love Chandler. He's the ultimate man child. I, I like him. Adam too. I'm a big fan. But wait, wait a minute. Okay, one second. Okay, did I lose? So number three was who? We got Jesus Christ, Andrew Dice Clay, Henry, Henry Winkler. Winkler, Henry Winkler, then Adam Sandler. <laughs> okay, then Adam Sandler. 
etc., etc., etc. Chandler's the ultimate man child. I love that. Well, okay, well, you keep saying that. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't, that's okay. that's why that's you mean. like him. Okay, he learned that from something. No, no, no. It's a man commercial child. Or, I don't know what uh, that means. No, no, it's he's like, like a man child. Yeah, it, oh, it, it was like, a, uh, in Funny People. That's where I heard that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nah, funny, no, but he was saying that before. Oh. Yeah. No, the thing is, like, he's like goofy, but he acts like he's him. retarded. No, but he's all he's, a, he's a, a zillionaire. Right. I mean, but he's not. Obviously, he's you know, it's a character. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm losing track because I went out of order because I thought like a fucking human you were gonna go the other way. One uh, number ten is one, and it was who? It was Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ. Let me just put this in order. <laughs> number two is uh, <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> Dice, uh, number three is... God, you're missing people. I think you're going to really be upset. Winkler, about. Henry Winkler. Yeah. <laughs> three is Winkler? Yeah. Okay. Four. Andy Kaufman. No, no, not yet. Oh, sorry. Four, four. is Sandler. Four, four, Sandler. Is, oh, Sandler. four is Sandler. Adam Sandler. Okay, sorry. Five is Kaufman. So, okay, so five is Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so explain why, because of the fucking, uh, you know. No, he was so awesome as Latka, and I loved him on, like, <laughs> I really thought he was a foreign guy when I was doing <laughs> yeah. And the cool thing about him was, on his special, he brought out Howdy Doody, right? <laughs> and he brought him out the puppet, and he goes, Howdy was born the same year I was. I almost cried when I watched it. I loved it. It was so cool. You're almost crying a lot. Well, when are you going to fucking cry? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Andy Calvin. <laughs> oh, no, I love him because he bought a Howdy Doody on his special. You know what I mean? He's like, me and Howdy were born the same year. I loved it. It was like, it was. Why'd you <laughs> cry? Well, I, I got make... touched, was untouched by it. I thought it was cool. What was untouchable? <laughs> Touch, Your untouched cock? By, no, touched by no, it. No, got like, touched by, by Howdy Doody. Andy Kaufman touched you? No. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, uh, the thing that hasn't been touched is your feet. <laughs> no, but no, I just loved him as a, he was generally lovable. Uh, you sound really, really odd now. If okay, Kaufman Andy Kaufman was alive six. today. Six, go ahead. Himself. Six? Okay. I thought you had this whole list in your yes. fucking enormous head. Robert Klein. <laughs> okay. I, li I like Robert Klein, but it makes no sense. He was. I met him a couple of times, right? <laughs> what does that fucking mean? He was super nice, charismatic, really sweet guy, and, he's, and he can sing, and he's a great guy. Where'd you meet him? At the people Robert, I got them. At the people Robert couple Klein is, is hoping never to meet a fucking convention? <laughs> I spoke, met him at Gotham a few times. And what happened? We spoke for a little, a little bit, like 20 minutes. I talked about Pips in Brooklyn. And he do, you sat down think, with me. do you think <laughs> there's anyone Robert Klein has told that story to? <laughs> no, but I just... One I just, time I met this guy, Mike Pichetti. No, but I mean, it was, he, was, he didn't have to be... He could have been a victim if he How wanted to How long... Big. And this, there's, there's got to be an actual time in history and if I ever got up to the gates the same you know my whatever we're alleging you know and uh, we say in the Catholic Church like who was Saint Mike Peter to, like, Saint Peter yeah okay if, if uh, you could ask any question and he has the answer scientific whatever it is there's got to be an answer to this question you met Robert Klein yes. years later you're telling the story I thought he was how nice long guy. in minutes and seconds or maybe just seconds do you think it took before Robert Klein completely forgot <laughs> No, he didn't. That he met you. Because I met him twice. Once okay. within months. He didn't forget me. What, ha, give me the exchange. Okay. He, give me the second time and okay, the this, reason you know he, he, he did. Okay. They were filming. Mike! What he said. No, they were filming a show at Gotham, right? Years ago called uh, Live. No, not Live. This is like on a Metro channel. Yeah. I remember that. I know, I did, Klein I, had a show. I hosted it, yeah. He had a show, right? And I watched him and I became a fan of his, right? So he was dead at night before the show started. So I said to him, you know, hi, hi Mr. I called him Mr. Klein. I'm not calling him Robert. I don't know him. He's like my mom's age, really, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of yours. So he goes, really? I go, we start talking about Is this the Brooklyn. second time you met First time. <laughs> so we're talking about Pips in Brooklyn, which I start, started at. And, he, and he's like, really? He goes, did you know George? You started out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we do, I mean you could, people could say that you're still you know, late starting. No, no, he uh, he just I asked him. He asked me, did I know George? It was what, the founder. George who? George Schultz. He what year the, was it? He's 1963. They found. Pips. No, Mike. What <laughs> year did you meet fucking? Robert oh, this Klein? had to be like in the late 90s. Okay. And uh, he asked me, did I know the father? I go, no. He goes, he goes, you probably knew Seth and Marty, and those were the sons. So we just talked about comedy. I'm like. 
And then I seen him the second time, maybe months later, and he was like, "Hey, Mike, he remembered me. I, I, I'm not. I'm not." Robert kind of. Yes, he did. Yeah, you're very memorable. Yeah. And so, how do you know he even remembers you? He called. He said, "Hi, Mike." When I talked to him, he said, "Hi, Mike." Yes, the he did. Time. Yeah. And, and so, where did this? Uh, the the. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Howie Mandel. <laughs> Howie. Howie. Mandel. Howie Mandel. Okay, give me the circumstance. Because I thought he was great in St. Elsewhere. I loved him from the beginning. Okay. Right? <laughs> Makes no sense. Go ahead. He was, and, and the thing like I said earlier about him was he's a major advocate for OCD. An advocate? An advocate. <laughs> because you know what? No, he has really bad OCD. He's, has, he's a germaphobe. He can't even touch people really. I know. I've seen that. Well, maybe it's just you, though. No, no. It's not just He probably just told you that. <laughs> no, but he, I, I, because put it this way, right? To have what he has, what to be able now? to do what he does. What does he do? And he's an advocate he for it. He has talent. Now. No, Wait, but he Mike, has talent. To have what he has to do what he do, <laughs> and he's an advocate. He's an advocate that has guts to do what he does because Mike, he's he, not self. Uh, do what big, he does. No, I'm not, let me I'm not finish. goofing on. No, okay, good. Okay, let me finish for one minute, Please. guys. First of you all, got start a pivot this business pivot. is very super centered and me, 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 selfish. Am I right or wrong about that? You're right. How many people are fucking just me, 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 all and selfish? Someone right? who just you know, hogs the mic and says, "Let like, me finish." No, what I'm saying is that like. <laughs> Howie, right, became an advocate for something he had. An advocate. An advocate. <laughs> you know, he didn't have to. Am I right or wrong? He just did it. And it, I think it's a great thing. It's a blessing to him. To be an advocate. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, but he might have changed some people's lives on. People might by, by being an advocate? No. By be, by be, he's a good example on it. Mm -hmm. He's well, a good What about someone who well, has well, struggled with OCD? You, do, you, do you have a bad example of an advocate? <laughs> no. No, but I'm saying the thing is... Uh, who knows how many people... He might have saved some people, helped some people out. I mean, I think, look, being an advocate is great. But, but he's famous and he, oh, but, he but, don't even but, need okay, to do it. Okay, listen, Mike, but don't you... Let's have an argument here. Okay. Uh, you know, but a calm one. Don't you feel being an advocate is... You need more than just being an advocate. And, and, and you don't, don't you feel you need more? Yeah, he, do, he does stuff, though, a lot. He does events. He was even up in Montreal. He was doing something for OCD, I think. He did. Okay, yeah. fine. He was oh, selling okay. Adderall. No. <laughs> <laughs> In the, in the bathroom. No. In the bathroom. Because yeah, you made up a sign. It goes, advocate sells animals. <laughs> Can you spell advocate? Sure. Yeah, it's A V D O C A T E. There's a B in there. A V D. Nevin, let me. Nevin, I'm calling you Nevin now. You fucking. A V D. Ab. A V D. Hold on. Ab. A D V O C A T E. Say it again, Mike. Av A V D. You have to say it first, Mike. This is not a spelling bee from the third grade. Okay. <laughs> you have to use it in a sentence. Advocate. I am an advocate of life. Mike, listen advocate. to how you're saying it, and then listen to how you spell it. Av. And I think you'll find an insane discrepancy. Advocate. I think you'll find a very, very glaring. I don't know, uh, but I know what it means, though. That's What's the it bottom mean? line. It, it's it? someone that's, that. <laughs> it means it means the grammar school you went through should be torn down. No. <laughs> Mike, right. I mean, it's someone that... Stacey, you want to tell them what's going on here. I know Mike, what it say, is. What, what is what, no, you're saying the word wrong. It's not abdicate. It's advocate. Okay. And you keep saying abs, like your stomach, abs. Okay. Yeah. But I know what it she's means. She's a lying though. Jew. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, she's right. It means Why someone... Why do you say abdicate? You would, spell it. In other words, Mike, here's how it's spelled. You ready? Okay, but the bottom I'm gonna line spell is... It. Doesn't, know, doesn't mean a lot, though, to know what the meaning of these words are. Oh, anybody can... You know what I mean? I not may not be a great speller, but not I, everybody, I know what I'm no, talking clearly about. Clearly, not everybody can spell it. Yeah. No. Okay, here's how... You, but I know what it is. That's the important thing. saying. Advocate is the word. Yes. You're saying abdicate. <laughs> okay. It's odd. We can't let you go on like this. <laughs> but I know what a lot of words mean. I'm, 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 I'm not an idiot, believe me. No one's <laughs> saying you're an idiot. So say it again. Uh, I don't abdicate that you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Harry, how, Howie Mandel is an advocate. Advocate. Mm -hmm. Advocate. 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 But in other sure. words, when you have a headache, do you take Advil or Advil? <laughs> I take a leave. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we'll move on. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Uh, the fucking eighth guy, dude. Sam Simon. <laughs> He's dead. I know. That doesn't matter, though. Okay. So it's Jesus Christ already. <laughs> Why Sam Simon? Well, I met him thanks to you and, and, and Sal Caroline. Let, let me. Can I finish, Evan, please? Right. 
He was an enormous asshole, Sam. Really? But he was yeah. very he was very nice to me when I met him. I talked like to him. <laughs> no, I mean, but he was a huge asshole. Really? I very did. bad person. Well, but you know what? Though one I knew him very well. Terrible, but one of the most disappointing human beings. Really? But the thing is, I'd like to. You be- like him apparently because he can make Homer say mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, at the end of his life, what he left a lot what of money to animal charities. What does people. that mean? That means because he, he hated people. And pe- I think he left money to people as well. No, he didn't. He didn't. Enormous asshole. I feel horrible now. He was nice to me. Yeah, I talk- you know, it wasn't nice to me. I talked to him on are Facebook. You with, are you friends with me? Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Sorry. I don't. My, he's a really bad person. Wow. I'm glad he's number three. <laughs> number eight. Good. Okay. Good choice, Mike. A guy who like almost uh, was responsible for uh, causing me to commit suicide. Oh God, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know it. Yeah. Go right ahead. Jack Klugman. <laughs> 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 I, love Jack, I love Jack Klugman. I do. I, I, there's He's no, fucking incredible. Yeah, okay, sure. go ahead. You know why? The Odd Couple is one of the best. I love Tony Randall. Uh, that show well, is what awesome. About, what about number one? What about Tony Randall? Uh, I like Jack a little better. Okay, but well, what about number nine? Okay. Do you want oh, wait, to we got to number ten? What's the number ten? Sam number eight. Uh, Jack Klugman's number nine. And who's number ten? Who's number ten? Uh, Mrs. Miss Prussman. She's a great person. Oh wow! I made the list. <laughs> yes. Oh, Stacy Prussman. So Stacy Prussman's on the list. You know, some great people, Stacy. I mean, you got a list of like you know, phenomenal I see people. <laughs> Don't you see? You're doing exactly what Stacy asked you not to do. No, but I, why? Why can't you admire your friend? There's nothing wrong with that. Am I right but or wrong? I appreciate that, but it, I, I just did stop. You're on with Jesus Christ? <laughs> I'm on the same list yeah. with Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, understand. I mean, uh, don't you think it puts pressure? Jesus and Stacey. It's a little, I don't put pressure know, because... I, Mike, I had the same... I, I was People. tossing in my head, do I put Stacy or Anne Frank? <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't... You know, if it wasn't for me on the list, it would do be Do I no. put Stacey Adam struggles. Sandler or Albert Einstein? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but the thing is, people have no idea what our friendship is like outside of the show. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. We have a lot Stacey of... Stacey Pressman? Yes. Are you talking like you're Abbott and Costello or something? <laughs> no. I, I mean, people just don't get it. It's like... Get what? What is it? Well, tell us what it is. It's a very special friendship. What is it? We just talk all the time, have fun, do comedy. I, I, Stacey, is that she the She made me a better person. Stacey, I know that is that, all that the, time. the truth? Yeah, we are very close Is this one of those That's times you were talking about before where Mike is like, uh, it's like the emoji thing? No. That is I, I don't think I belonged on the list. I mean, we were, do, you know, like makes me feel like all of a sudden like I'm not a part of the gang. It is a little I'm weird. Like shit. Dan put me on the best comedian list. Uh, well, I didn't mean creepy. to insult you. I'm sorry. It's I didn't, creepy. It wasn't no, you're not insulting me. I just Stand up. <laughs> best stand up. Dan put me on the list and it was creepy. You know, like I get it. I mean. No, it, I mean, I get it, but it's very, it's, it's, it already deserves to be on the Mike, list. Mike, you were number 11 on my list. No, but, oh, uh, it's just, I'm saying it's, it makes you feel uncomfortable when you like want I'm to be sorry. a part and of the group. And then you immediately go on the attack. You attack Stacy for being honest, and you go, oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I, I, you didn't offend right. me. You don't know. You didn't offend me. You're, you're taking me. it wrong. You're taking it wrong. I like Stacy, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put her anywhere near that. Well, I don't want to be on a lab. We're having fun. It's like, we're like, these sorry, people all right, aren't all right, in our group. Saying, all right, like, sorry. Like, you, you know, and then put, Sam Simon... You know, again, well, how dare you? All right, I won't talk anymore. Really. How dare you? Moses? Moses? Yeah, you're doing that again. Now I'm not going to talk anymore. And now I'm going to. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep doing the same time, and I prefer it. Okay. <laughs> no, I just feel like it makes me feel uncomfortable. Like okay, I, I don't want to be on the list. It is. All right. It's uncomfortable. Well, I didn't know that. Sorry, my my mistake. Why not put a should I put a big I smiley you face? Should, you should apologize <laughs> to Stacey on Twitter I'm sorry, I'm stop, all night. I'm, I'm, stop instigating. <laughs> well, okay, sorry. And Facebook. I, I won't talk that much anymore. Would you? And, ins- and Instagram. Not out to because he'll do it. Now he's going to go home even though he said no and he'll be sitting in bed and I'll go, I, I, Evan was probably right. Maybe Stacey Shaver really said to do it. And then an avalanche of emojis. No, no avalanche or anything. <laughs> do you, I put her name down. Do you want me to put an emoji? <laughs> well, she don't want the name on it. So do you want to make her number 11? Maybe put, make Sigmund Freud number 10? <laughs> <laughs> we can move the list. We could do a tie. You want to try? Do you realize if it wasn't for me on the list, there'd be no women on your list? You hate women, f- female I don't teams. hate women. Just Jewish women. Just Jewish women. Right. Think about it. There's no women on the list. Like, and he just put me on the list because he felt he should be. No. What about Sarah? Sarah? Well, there's anti-Semitism. What about women. Sarah Michelle Geller? <laughs> I think she's Jewish. I don't know. Would you want her on the list? I don't really know. To, well, you don't know any of these people. No, some, pe- some people I don't know. Would you want her to round out the list, though, Mike? 
to have a woman to have diversification because you have what a couple of women did I thought were awesome because Stacey. comedy was I love not comedy it's women how about Sarah Jessica Parker I heard she's a heap <laughs> she's half a heap is she yeah that counts okay according to Hitler that's Jewish uh, <laughs> You're gonna make Mike so upset. This is not good. Come You're on. making it's him get us. Uh, fun. We're having fun, Mike. We're having fun. We're no, having... I don't want to be on the list. You know, no, not to put me on the list. Fun. I mean, I think right, fun, I think take you up fun is a strong word for this. I don't know if this is Sorry. fun. I didn't mean to put you on. I put you on. It's not like you have a list that you didn't do any work. I'll take you off the list. Who are you calling? Uh, Variety Us Weekly? <laughs> uh, hello, is the we don't of know. Us they might be this Radar is, Online. Is this one. the edit of Us Weekly? This is Mike Buschetti. <laughs> this is fun. It's a bullshit list, Mike. Do you guys I have, serious. Here's a G you can put on the list. <laughs> what about Evan Weiss? Look, here's a G you can put on the list. Huh? Who's that? Oh, no. That's all right. Uh, Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. What about Amy? I don't really know. But you don't like her? No, I don't know. I'm sensing hostility. No, I don't have hostility. I don't know her. Uh, Mike, what did Amy do to you? I never Mike, I met her on. once. I don't know her. It sounds like you don't what? like her. You met her once? At that Audi show. And what'd she do? She, 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 she no, she was her. nice, but I mean, I don't really know her. As Does anybody believe him? No, this was before Stacy, so you can say you asked her out. Did you ask her out? No, I didn't ask her out. I don't bother people like that. I'm just, my job was a job, but I didn't like hit on the woman. Wait, so when you brought there's the girls something to the... weird about your reaction yeah. to this. We know you. But yeah, Stacy went out of her way to show it to you. So well, I saw like... it popping up, and I, it was yeah. you, it was women. So. Well, why, why? I don't know Amy really as a person. I don't know her. I never... So you're making Stacy look weird for showing it to you? No, she's not weird. Well, you're being weird. How am I being weird? I don't know. I know who she is, but I don't, I'm not a Are person. you a fan of her work? I don't really know her work that much. If so there is a star. If there is a train wreck too, will you be in it? Of course she will be, Evan. Mean, no, I don't, know if she, I don't know if she knows me. You know what I mean? Who knows? That's up to her, really. I don't have, I'm not the casting director. <laughs> So wait a minute. This is another fact. No, you're, you're not the cast director. No, the train wreck. If <laughs> you were, I'd be pissed. <laughs> How come you didn't put him in? Well, I, 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 I also need to know what are the reasonable rates for your training wellness center? <laughs> okay, that's the other thing. Your, your, your tweet about the wellness center, the fitness. You never even told me you put that on, Mike. I just put it on Facebook. Really. Yeah, well, oh, this started what, the whole thing. Mike, this started the whole thing. Can what, we bring what, up the tweet? Why'd you hide it from Stacy, though? I wanted to try. To, I wanted to just put it out there. People Are you asked, hiding the salami? No, but, no. <laughs> people were asking me like on 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 lawn, Who's like, asking you, Mike? People all the time. How'd you do it? What do like, they say? How'd you do what? How'd you lose weight and all that stuff? And they, uh, they, uh, people wanted to help me. I was I, like nice about I gotta it. I got to be honest with you. It's not that impressive what you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a major oh, transformation. It, you know, he did transform. Moving out of your house would be a major transformation. No, but you make it sound like you went from me to David Beckham. No, but, <laughs> no, but people people been saying all kinds of good stuff, and it's it's. It, Who? I never heard good stuff in my life, so you know what uh, I mean. It doesn't. We tell good. you you're funny all the time. What yeah, are you talking Mike? about? I'm We're the biggest I'm boosters. Look at look wise. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh I never yeah, heard, well, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> look wise. We're not gonna lie to you. No, Mike. I don't I mean, hear. You know, I, I haven't heard it either. But it, it should have nice Neither am I. I mean, but it means something to me to hear it, though. You know what I mean? And we never I think, hear it. I think, have you ever seen, Dan, ever seen Dan in shorts? <laughs> He's way odder looking than you are. To never hear it and hear it, it's 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 nice. They're not. They never hear it in your life, and then people. Tell I you never that. heard it. I still have never heard it. So you're in a well ahead of the game. Yeah, but uh, I don't. I don't. I don't really want to talk about it. Really. Are you all right? Oh, I'll go. Oh, no, I'm good. He's upset. I'm good. I'm I good, don't get. Well, listen, don't get upset, Mike. You look good. You look. You look good. good. You look really good. But I'm, that, the important thing is you're healthy. You feel healthier, right? You haven't drank in a long. I mean, you're, you're like, think about how healthy you are compared to me. I got a drug-ridden body. I look terrible. And you, you really did something. Yeah, but the thing is, like, people have been asking me how you do I, I, I wouldn't mind talking to people like, you know, like, what do you call it? It's just changing your thought process. That's all well, it is. Do you want, are you willing to, well, here's the thing. Do you want to do it at a rate, or do you want to give it away? Well, I would know? do it at a rate, but I would, I would intervene for people that couldn't afford to do it. I would try to help people. But I, don't, you, I mean, you have to have certain qualifications. Even though you succeeded in changing your life, you have to have certain qualifications to charge money for that. You can't just be like. Well, yeah, you, well, you need a license, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. But let's blow by all that. Let's say that you came to train me and Artie every day at 10 a.m. Yeah, I love working. How out. much would you charge for it? I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't know. Just pretend that they're strangers. Dude, I right. we can't. Okay. We can't, I'm not going to let you do it for free. It's your, right. it's your career. Of course, I'll pay you. 
Well, how long you want? How many days a week you want to do this? Oh, Jesus Christ! I already <laughs> says Monday through Friday. No. Three days a week. You just said it. Three days a week. Two days. Nah. What is, Two days a week. Let them start slowly and then move <laughs> on. What about a like half hour a week? <laughs> oh, no, you, you can't, you can't do the hour. Into, cut up into four minutes. Seconds. No, no, you can't, you can't. Just start in an hour. Does start slow? Does walking to get the pizza across the street count as <laughs> exercise rather no. than having delivered? No, no, no. But here's the thing, Mike. I'll read the tweet again for the people who weren't here seven hours. Ago. I feel like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Are you? This is from the Mike Pushetti, and again, this has been up for uh, four days, four and a half days now. Remember, no, but I put this so on by, Facebook. On. By the Facebook, way, Facebook. I, I know, I know. Gino fucking destroyed it on Twitter shit. like usual. It's up, it's up on fucking one of the fag media things. All right, I pointed out. By the way, this will be interesting. I pointed out jokingly, and I'm ashamed of this earlier. Uh, that had been up for four days and ten people like this. That's what it says. Okay. That was what? Three hours ago? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, ten people still like it. <laughs> <laughs> at well, some point, you, had, zero at, at some point you, had, you didn't go backwards. At, no, at some point you hit 12. And none of them are Jews. But listen, <laughs> at some point you hit 12 and it went down to seven. <laughs> then it just got back to ten. <laughs> well, people can change, uh, change like the wind. One comment. One comment said, uh, oh, whatever they want to say, let them say. No, it said that we, we'd love it. It says, what's well, all positive shit? So, yeah, people, you might make a lot of money, Mike. I could help you with it. Yeah, now, okay, so here's the text. Here's the tweet. What do they call these? A tweet? Uh, that's post. a post. fake post. A fake post? Facebook post. A fake. All right. Are you looking to lose a, all one sentence, by the way. Are you looking to lose a few pounds or wanting to get in good shape? I can help guide you to the road to wellness, Stuart. This isn't a diet, but a lifestyle change. If you're interested, please inbox me at me reasonable rates. Because Mike Machete says so. <laughs> so it sounds like an ad from Chris. Mike, yeah, first of all, Mike, Mike it's, yeah. It looks like a hooker ad almost. <laughs> Reasonable rates. Yeah. Uh, come to your house. Yeah. And it's, uh, In call or out there, calls. There are a lot of widows <laughs> in Staten Island. Let me try to. Uh, let me try Would to. You service them as part of your. Would you be a call boy? What are those called? Uh, no. Uh, but no Jews. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says up top. No Jews. All right, I'm going to try to do that a better service. I'm going to read it better. Again. Are you looking to lose a few pounds or wanting to get in good shape? I can help guide you to the road to wellness. This isn't a diet, but a lifestyle change. If you're interested, please inbox me reasonable. <laughs> no, but it is a lifestyle. It's not a diet. When you think about it, you know what? Actually, in the last 15 years, dude, you're only the 18,000th person I heard say that. <laughs> no, it's not a diet anymore. Right no, right I know, now. but that's what it is. Like, everyone points that out, lifestyle. <laughs> no, it is because it's changing your thought process. I believe I'm saying it's not original. No, but uh, between losing weight, I don't smoke anymore. I gave up a drink. I mean, what, how many devices do I got left? I do none of you, which is amazing. <laughs> Which, which is why you should emoticons. service the old women. <laughs> which means you'll probably pick up a rifle and get on the top of the building. <laughs> He's only Vice's Twitter now. Mike, you need to. I'm, I'm, Mike, I'm being tweets. dead fucking serious right now. The fact that you don't drink, smoke, gamble, all that shit that used to like be the valve you released for fucking having a good time. The fact that you do none of that anymore and you don't drink anymore really at all and uh you don't uh, the gambling whatever and the fact that now you're thinking about cutting back on the social media it's a matter of time before something's gonna happen don't you think like you like you gotta something's gotta go somewhere like an outlet yeah, yeah an outlet you have to do something and where what is that thing gonna be masturbate Okay. Would that's you sex do, addiction. Do you do that? Yes, that's a, that's an important factor. How many times do you masturbate a week? It varies, you know. <laughs> no, like is it incessant? Like do you do it like every it day? It varies. Yes, I think so. Yeah. You depends. do? Late at night. I more. think so. Depends. It depends. <laughs> depends what kind of mood I'm You wear it depends? No. Evan does. Anyway. Oh, great. Thank you, Stacey. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't know what to say. I just, uh, Me- I'm puzzled by, you know. The fact that you're, I don't know, you're not doing anything. Do you how, the Twitter? Do you want to cut back on that as well? Yeah, because it's like after a while, I just don't want to. You know, I want to get in touch with the real world again. Because yeah, so much do work. that, Mike. Do that. Well, I try to drag him out. I well, we, he we, means we go, he wants we do to be comedy on. shows. Oh yeah, all the time. I'm always dragging him to do something. Absolutely. Well, what about that? We I, always have a good time. I make him help stuff. me with my podcast. And yeah, he's going to help me with the production of the show. That we're doing. I've actually seen you guys. 
together at um, we had so much fun a comedy cellar a couple times out socially uh, three times mm-hmm. so every, much fun. every single time Stacy has uh, come up to me and said uh, I have to I have to get out of here can you distract my <laughs> <laughs> She's, and then she leaves with Artie Fuqua. She, she slipped you a little <laughs> note. <laughs> Would you be upset if you found that I, I caught Artie Fuqua having sex with Stacy in the bathroom in the comedy store? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Artie Fuqua in years. I would say that's well, a good job. Good. He has money. <laughs> <laughs> Artie Fuqua, God bless him, man. He has rolling, money. Yeah. Rolling in it. And he always gets pussy. Rolling in it. <laughs> Sipping on gin and juice. But, he, but he's also a really good guy. I we know him. everybody's a good guy. No, no, let me finish, Evan. I know him for a long time. Let me finish. Let me finish. finish. <laughs> I know him forever, You're right? finishing a lot of stuff. And he also, what do you call it, you know, he went through a lot of stuff besides his accident. He what lost, happened? He lost his son. I know. And I met his son a couple of times. He's a good kid. He's a good guy, Artie. He's a good guy. I'm you glad know. he's better now. I know. It's a miracle. When I first saw him better, I, I, I gave him a big talk. It was unbelievable. He's just a, that much of a great human. I love Artie. Uh, all right, calm down. <laughs> Party for quality. Who, uh, who's a better human, him or Andrew Dice Clay? <laughs> uh, I heard Dice does benefits in charity work, but I mean, I, I don't know. Let's I don't know, Andrew. Yeah. I was going to go to the Hillary thing, but it's really, it's, um, I, I got lost in the days and confused. Of, of, I just, it's mind-boggling to me, the list here, because to go from Jesus Christ to Andrew Dice Clay on, <laughs> on any list. By any list, exactly. And then Sandler, and they're all great guys. But the thing is, but God forgives everybody, Odd. You know what I mean? Dice is <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but Odd, he's a good family man. He's a good guy in You're real life. Who is? He's been married Jesus a couple Christ. of times, right? No, but he took. You remember what he said on the show, guys? He took ten years off to raise his sons, and you know what? His son's good kids. You know what I mean? Ten years. Mike. He, years. Oh, Mike, he yeah. took ten years off because show business said you're not booked on any. He wasn't booking work. Yeah, but about his son. Open your eyes. No, but you see how good kids his son's Who takes 10 years are. off? You take you work to fucking give money to yeah, your kids. No, but the thing is, all, he could. He said he could work forever. Political correctness came along, Mike. That's what happened. People also say stuff to cover up other things. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's called it's called PR. You it's know what called I mean? lying. No, but I met you met his sons. They were gentlemen. They were good kids. Nothing's got nothing to do with it. Got nothing to do with it. People expect the miniature versions of him. What? I'm not a miniature version of my dad. No, no, but I'm saying, but mom. people, people are thinking. Some people might have thought it, but I, I don't know. Every, do you realize everyone's a miniature version of you? Almost. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a break. No, no, actually, we're gonna end the show. Okay. Mike, give your, uh, Stacey, Mike, give your plugs yeah. one more time. Oh, our show, SNL, it's gonna be fun again. What day? Oh, okay, uh, uh, we have a show coming up at Broadway Comedy Club, uh, November 10th, 10, 9:45 a.m. Hello. Well, SNM show, Stacey, Mike. Show uh, twenty dollar cover two drink minimum. Yeah, Rick, come out to see us. Yeah, come out. Go to just go to StacyPresman yeah. Say it again. November. What day we doing your show? November twenty sixth. November twenty fifth. Fifth. Sorry, I don't remember. I'm also doing a show. I have Mike right, and Stacy on. That's not. That's not the. I knew they were going to do that. Already's yeah, on the not phone. Not the regular. I don't. Know. Okay, so I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Keep going. Just keep going. Well, we have the show November twenty fifth. 9 p.m. at Broadway Comedy Club, and that's 15 at the Really? Door also. So what does that mean? So in other words... I have, I have a show uh, November 14th, Greenwich Village Comedy Club, so 6 it's p.m. Not, so, I, okay. Uh, so in other also, words, I have uh, the impression let's that... Let's go to Evan Weiss. Uh, December it's 5th. A, it's a one show, and I'm done. It's not. Greenwich Village Comedy Club, 6 p.m. Irene Bremis and all beautiful women, or well, funny women on that show. So that's 15 at the door. Two that's the woman that trained Mike, right? right. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, she's yeah. she's very dirty. She's funny, dirty. You guys would like her. What else we got? What do you we got a, going on, Dan? Oh, gonna be Just a, the podcast. Just the podcast. Join the contest. Good, so oh, say, I have a, I'm going to be a, I'm doing a show in November. Uh, a few th- I'm different. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm, do, I'm doing a bunch of things. Right. My food show. I'm doing my producing oh, yeah. food show. We're hosting a food show. What kind of food show? Um, it's about gourmet foodies, so we're working on that. It's going to be fun. Nice. I'm going to have to consult oh, you on some information. Okay. Dan. Sure. That'd be great. And uh, then what else? And then, uh, oh, we're going to be in uh, we- L.A. Oh, yeah. Uh, December 1st to the 10th, and we'll we have three, three shows. And you'll call in from okay. uh, Stuttering John's house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll call in. We'll definitely call in. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun. We have a lot of stuff right. coming. I just, have, I just can't think. Oh, we have Pike East at uh, December Pike 4th at yeah. Maddie Goldberg and Sunset oh. Boulevard. And uh, we're waiting on some other stuff, but we'll be out in L.A. for like 10 wow. minutes. Wow, well, that's great. So and then so I'm doing I, a show uh, the, for the okay, New York Comedy Festival. Wow, I just, my agent just called me about that. 
Uh, it's a woman's show at Caroline's for uh, Gilda's Club. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, Amazing charity. It's a great Gilders charity. Club. And it's November 9th. And I just have, yeah, November 9th, I'm doing that at Caroline. So come on down to Port Gilda's Club. Oh, yeah. Gino's thing, I forgot. Oh. Oh, I'm roasting Gino Bisconti. That's exciting. October 27th at the stand. Tuesday, 10 p.m. I'm battling Mr. Bisconti. What did you lose? How did you, how did you lose to get that? Pat just asked me to do it. Like, he, I'm like, what? I came to support Gino. Gino when he was doing uh, Vecchione and I and then I don't know why he put me against Gino but I guess he thought it would be funny You're right. so I have to write jokes this week about Gino which would be a lot of fun thank you buddy another buzz thank you for your hard work so uh, Artie's on the phone and uh, this is this is how real show business works I know works. it's so much fun right we had such a great time today oh, yeah. you're hearing inside information of a big thing coming up for Artie I know I'm so excited for That's him like it's, it's gonna be awesome oh, business so. talk in the background yeah, this, you know what I like about this podcast you don't hide anything <laughs> that's right it's on the roll you, oh, yeah. people out like there for s- we don't less than anything. a quarter a day you get to hear the inside workings of show business well, you know, I, I just, uh, yeah. you just did you, did, did, yeah, that was my manager. Did you book it? I just found out that I uh, I have booked a a role in the new Judd Apatow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo! all right, congratulations. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, are you shooting in New York? Well, LA, you don't know. Mike, I can't tell you. Okay, sure. <laughs> because uh, when, once they hear the Jew list, I may be out. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put Judd Apatow on In fact, Apatow. Oh, Apatow is oh. now number one. This is like <laughs> the movie in Pittsburgh you couldn't talk about. Oh. I can't talk about He's just <laughs> fiction, <laughs> fiction, but he's fiction, but Ari Gold would have been a great agent in real life. And you have to now take back insulting Amy Schumer, who's friends with him. I don't I don't know Amy, like I said. I don't person. really know her either. I, you know, I don't know. So when are you filming it, you can't say? Well, I'm just saying that, uh, again, a lot like Howard is probably going to be, I'm probably not going to see you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new set of friends. Oh, what do you mean? Can, can you cook? Look, I'm just saying what's going to happen, Can you guys? buy us a Jack Fletch ball? Guys, let, let me tell you. I, th- I feel it's better if I'm honest with all you guys right now. <laughs> Instead of phasing you out in an awkward way. This obviously opens up doors for me. Uh, now I'm I can look Judd Apatow uh, look uh, this opens up I'll probably be I don't know uh, probably in Cabo San Lucas for Christmas <laughs> <laughs> can, can we do, can uh, we, I, you know I know he jet sets to Maui and uh, I know that uh, look I just think me and Seth Rogen will probably go shopping together for clothes and, now you're going to be best friends with Aziz Ansari uh, <laughs> I mean look me and, uh, me and, me, uh, me and AA yeah <laughs> You're gonna forget. My new AA in my life is. is <laughs> can me and can, can if Dan doesn't go to what do you can we do the podcast? What I'm gone? saying is, like, <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't care what you do. <laughs> oh, if you want this equipment, fine. <laughs> so now you're gonna go to HBO and forget about us all. I've already started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, don't you feel though, guys? It's easier for me to do it this way. It's less cruel. Absolutely. Yeah. To like eventually, Congratulations. Eventually phase you out. The right is sort of just go to. It, it's, hey. easy, it's, uh, it's easiest for Evan because I just met him today. Yeah. Right? Just to, it's going to be easy. Just look, to, at, look at it this way. Gino and Chris Cutton are gonna, aren't even going to get this. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going to change the number. And there's probably a chance I'll never see Chris or Gino. <laughs> and also, uh, look, I, I just met Evan today. It's going to be very easy to forget him. Yeah. Oh, pretty Most much. People forget me anyway. I don't have any. I don't have any memories. Emo- of him. Emotional attachments. Yeah. I don't have any memories of him. Mike, listen, I, I wish you luck in this business. <laughs> uh, if you do see me out, at, um, I, you probably won't be. At Can I meet in Bonnie's Beanery? I'm just saying, <laughs> the, at the off chance you're not parking cars at a place I'm at. I just like, if I pretend. Can you tip heavily? <laughs> that's okay. I'm just going to say, I, I don't know who you are. Mark does it, Mike doesn't have a license, so that's not going to happen. No, I don't. <laughs> you have a license for driving or rubbing people or. Uh, <laughs> rubbing people the wrong way. Now, uh, listen, at the Emmys, when Ryan Seacrest asked me who I'm wearing. <laughs> my Pachetti skin. Maybe, maybe I'll mention the mullet charity. <laughs> <laughs> you took over a mullet charity. <laughs> I mean, look, the, the, red, the rest of the HBO gang, <laughs> me and Lena, Lena Dunham and me at the HBO Christmas party. What about Leo, the cap? You can call him that when you meet, hang with him and help. Well, uh, again, you got to be cool enough to that is not the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm just saying. What did I call John Goodman? I love. You can call, call him Johnny B. Dude, this is why I, I, I can't wait to cut you out. <laughs> I'm just saying, at the HBO Christmas party, I'll probably be with the cast of Ballers, right? Uh, the Rock. 
Lena Dunham and those people from Girls, right? The <laughs> chick whose uh, father lies. <laughs> right? Oh, Brian Williams. Jordan. Yes. That's going to be a new girlfriend. I'm going to say, yeah. And when I'm fucking the daughter of Brian Williams, I'm going to say, be like your father and lie to me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think Artie's a Zoe Mamet type. Isn't that her yeah, name? Zoe Mamet. Zoe Mamet yeah, yeah, Zoe Mamet, yeah. So, Shoshana. Because she could then talk to her. Sh- yeah. 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 Yeah, you're going you're gonna to be that one of those kind of guys. I'll fuck the quirkiness right out of that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to fuck the whole cast of girls. Yeah, absolutely. One after another. I'm going to fuck the cast of uh, the Judd Apatow the thing by being in it. <laughs> <laughs> if we go back in the time machine, I'll go for the Andrew sisters. <laughs> That's the creepiest thing I've ever done. Well, let me for the... Okay, and to you uh, listeners of the podcast, uh, it's been great. This will be my last show, of course. I'm not... I'm, I'm on HBO now, man. The real awkward conversation is going to be with Dan. <laughs> uh, Dan is going to have to, you know, get another gig in Chicago. There's plenty of shit to do there, Dan. But you, you know, the Cub games, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I have a lot. I have a lot of. I have a stylist to hire. <laughs> <laughs> you going to get a stylist on A trainer. Of course, I'm going to style. Chicky baby, I'll turn you into. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm going to get. Uh, like, there's a lot of. Uh, you know, I'll probably uh, be hobnobbing at uh, certain areas of Malibu that you guys probably never even heard of. Like the, <laughs> you know, like where Barbara Streisand works out. Like it's probably a very private thing that only, Oprah. People, only people like us know about. And I'll be hobnobbing right with a lot of uh, liberal blacks for fundraisers. <laughs> what about, would be dr- hanging with Chet McFarlane in his barbecues? Right, that would he, again, he's already beneath me. He's already beneath <laughs> me. <laughs> it's HBO, Mike. It's not TV. It's oh, like, yeah. No, it's it is TV. Level. Remember we used to call it home body odor? Remember that joke? Home oh, body. fucking forget about that, pal. Mm. I am now going to be a big advocate for lesbians. Advocate. Advocate. <laughs> No, actually, it's exciting news. So I uh, thank you, and of course, uh, we'll uh, talk more on the podcast next week. And all I have to say is this. Uh, with this new salary, just one sentence. Pharmaceutical grade cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Bridge of Tarabithia. Barker on the college. All right, this is a generic close. <laughs> I, uh, first of all, okay, guys, thank you so much for listening to the Artie Quitter Podcast. Bushetti, thank you for that list, my man, your favorite Jews. Absolutely, they are. And we had a great, great time. We had a lot of fun, and I'm sure you'll see it all on Entertainment Tonight. Gustav Mahler never came in here. Yeah, just, yeah, does anyone know Gustav Mahler? <laughs> of what, course is, what is that? It's Dan showing up. Never. Uh, Was he related to General Rommel? Yes, he is. <laughs>